Did you know that spider venom can be used for therapeutics and bioinsecticides? We'll be talking about that very interesting story in just a couple minutes here, but first I want to touch on a couple of stories from 2021 that I missed last time. Our first story is from November 1st, 2021, and the headline reads, Spider's Web Secrets Unraveled. Researchers discovered precisely how spiders build webs by using night vision and artificial intelligence to track and record every movement of all eight legs as spiders worked in the dark. Their creation of a web building playbook or algorithm brings new understanding of how creatures with brains a fraction of the size of a human's are able to create structures of such elegance, complexity, and geometric precision. Not all spiders build webs, but those that do are among a subset of animal species known for their architectural creations, like nest-building birds and pufferfish that create elaborate sand circles when mating. To observe the spiders during their nighttime web building work, the lab designed an arena with infrared cameras and infrared lights. With that setup, they monitored and recorded six spiders every night as they constructed webs. They tracked the millions of individual leg actions with machine vision software designed specifically to detect limb movement. They found that web making behaviors are quite similar across spiders, so much so that researchers were able to predict the part of a web a spider was working on just from seeing the position of a leg. Even if the final structure is a little different, the rules they use to build the web are the same. They're all using the same rules, which confirms the rules are encoded in their brains. Now we want to know how those rules are encoded at the level of neurons. Our next article is from December 31st, 2021, and the headline reads, Snake Catcher Discovers Spider with Legs Longer Than a Toilet Roll. When a snake catcher was called to remove a carpet python from a Queensland bedroom, he expected an average day on the job. But what the Sunshine Coast snake catcher's owner didn't expect to find was one of the biggest spiders he has seen in his career. The caller told the snake catcher the snake was locked in the room the day before. So when the snake catcher opened the door, he was taken by surprise. Literally, the first thing we saw was a huge huntsman spider, he said. The spider, which was above the bed, stood out because it was so massive. As the snake catcher's eyes scanned across the room, he spotted the snake curled up on the cupboard at the end of the bed. The snake catcher proceeded to catch the snake and the spider and take them outside. As he did this, he noticed the spider was wider than his hand. In terms of its legs, it was larger than a toilet roll. The legs would go either end of the roll, he said. And now for our top story, which is from January 3rd, 2022, and the headline reads, Spider Venom for Therapeutics and Bioinsecticides. The venom of a single spider can contain up to 3,000 components. These components, mostly peptides, can be used to develop promising drug leads for the treatment of diseases. Spider venom can also be used as a biological pesticide. A team of scientists is primarily researching the venoms of spiders native to Germany, which have mostly been neglected until now. Their results regarding the biology of the toxins, in particular from the venom of the wasp spider, have been published in the journals of Biomolecules and Biological Reviews. The actions of individual toxins on pain receptors in nerve cells can be examined in the laboratory. The venom cocktail from the Australian funnel web spider is particularly promising. It is believed that it can be utilized to treat neuronal damage after strokes and that it may be used to make hearts longer lasting for organ transplants. Other components are interesting for usage as antibiotics or as pain relievers. There is a very recent field of research. This is a very recent field of research. Although the substances have been identified and described, they have not yet reached the preclinical stage. The situation is different with pesticide research. Spiders use their venoms to overpower their insect prey. As the toxins are very effective against insects, 
They feature excellent templates for biopesticides that could be used to protect crops against pest insects. Research so far has focused on the venoms from large or potentially dangerous species that live in the tropics. If you enjoyed these news stories and would like to see the full articles for yourself, I will put links to them in the description below. Thank you all for watching this edition of Arachnid News with Genos Tarantulas. See you all next time.